Hi, my name is Sean Burke and I play Ant and Freak. So what's your character like? Ant is a... Uh, at the beginning, he's like quite a, quite a bad guy almost. He does stupid things and um, has a good time the whole time. And then obviously he doesn't like his sister and that's the whole storyline really. Um, but then you'll warm to him as it goes on. He becomes a nice guy. Because at the start he's a bit of a bully to the freak. He is, yeah. <laughs> but that was fun playing, because it's always better being the bad guy rather than a nice guy. Um, and it's fun, he's not like... You can tell that he's not a horrible guy, because he's he's only bad to one person, if that makes sense. <laughs> but, yeah, it's good fun. And how did you, like, find out about the role? Have you got an agent, and then you found out through that, or...? Well, I've got an agent, and I've also got... A, I have a friend that, I work, that asked me to do the promo before. So I did the promo for it, um, and then all like developed and they got funding for it. So you can say I got it through a friend. Okay, and, an agent. Um, and have you ever, uh, like Googled yourself on the web and seen what these mentally ill girls have been saying about you? I haven't yet. <laughs> I've been in Ireland on a wedding. <laughs> so I haven't had a look. What are they saying? They're saying really inappropriate things. Are they? Yeah. I've got to take the compliments while I can because <laughs> they're not going to be around forever, are they? I'll be an old man one day and I'll be able to look back at it. And what, um, so what's the goal for you? Is it just doing bits of acting when you can? I mean, you were in the Angus film, what was that like? That was amazing, yeah. That was really good fun. Obviously I want to be an actor, but um, I'm not being stupid and I'm not diving in head first. I'm at university at the moment. Yeah, where is it? What? I'm at Warwick. Yeah, Warwick. Doing what biology. Oh, OK. Um, but you can't be acting. Acting's the best job in the world. So if I can do that, I'll do that. And let's just see how things go, I suppose. More, more questions. <laughs> um, are you excited about seeing yourself on MySpace? <laughs> I am, yes I am. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, what, would your, what would your ideal role be? <laughs> Me? Uh, I read sorry. on Indie London that you had this like really big yeah. thing for being some like Marlon Brando or someone. Well, Marlon Brando is my favourite actor of all time. Yeah. But like the best role would be one of those films where it's really like nitty gritty and like cool as well as like Requiem for a Dream. The character in that is unbelievable. Is that Jared, Jared, Jared Leto, yeah. yeah. That's, drug addict. That would be an amazing part You'd to play. You'd love to play a drug addict. Yeah. What Something else? that's quite challenging. And I, I watched Gladiator last night, so everyone wants to be... Was it Maximus Aurelius? Maximus? So, you don't need formal training? No. I suppose I should get around to that, really, but... Well, how did you, you kind of learn how the job? Do you think you have an advantage, having not done any formal training? To those who've gone to RADA and Lambda and everything? I think the advantage with the formal training is that it prepares you for theatre and all that malarkey where you have to properly act to everyone. Whereas on film, it's all quite naturalistic, isn't it? It doesn't matter if you mumble. So I think as long as I'm in film, I'm good. I might have to do a little bit if I go to theatre. Yeah, it does give you nice because you, you kind of, you go through real life, in a way. Did you, you act in your school plays? <laughs> oh, I was going to ask inappropriate. <laughs> I was gonna say, no, just one. You know, in the underwear pictures, do you stuff your underwear? <laughs> the only reason I'm asking is that is what they want to know, those girls, you know what I mean? No, I didn't. <laughs> and did you go into school plays? I did, yeah. Oh, right, what were you? Well, I, if you call uni play, I was, I was Don John in Much Ado About Nothing, which was a cool part because he's like, have you read the play? Yeah. You can, he's like the all, all, most awesome character in the world, isn't he? Cause he's like a real bad guy, but he's also quite charming as well. Because he's bad and he charms everyone into thinking. And he has that those like those in-depth monologues where he talks about himself. It's cool. <laughs>